Hi there. My name is Natasha and I am from the Geography Department here at NUI Galway. And this video is to introduce you to what it is we do in Geography at NUI Galway and what you can expect should you choose to join us. So first, a little bit about ourselves. The discipline of Geography at NUI Galway consists of 18 full-time committed academic staff with a wide number of expertise in issues including population changes, creative economies, climate change, and coastal processes. This broad range of expertise makes geography a unique department in that it provides a chance to study a broad series of subjects relating to the physical, social, and economic worlds. But first, what is geography? So geography includes the natural sciences that seeks to explain the rules that govern the natural world through scientific methods, it also includes the humanities, so studying human cu culture, um, and it has a significant historical element in terms of learning how the past shapes the now and indeed the future. And geography also focuses on the social sciences, so it is concerned with society and the relationships of individuals within a society. Geography is a subject for you if you're interested in understanding how an issue is linked to location and place, but also if you are curious about how we interact with the environment. Geography is for you if you want to understand the movement of people and animals, or indeed if you are interested in how region influences culture, economics and the environment. Because geography links the material environment and people it bridges the natural sciences, social sciences, and the humanities. Thus, geographers address crucial issues such as climate change, sustainability, food security, urban and rural planning, environmental issues, heritage and tourism industries, economic development, natural hazards, and lots more. Importantly, geography orientates all this curiosity within and through the observation of the real world. So field-based research, laboratory work, and engagement with the community are all important to geographers' work. But what are the benefits of a geographical approach to the world? Let's start with this image. In order to fully understand why this incident occurred, you're actually required to have a geographical approach. This incident could be due, for example, to natural forces. Things like coastal erosion, weather and climate, or climate change could all be blamed. It could, however, be due to human interactions. So tourist development in the area, poor planning, and or illegal settlement could have led to this incident. In order to fully understand and investigate what led to this incident happening, the consideration of both natural forces and human interactions are needed. Then we can understand the problem that's here and begin to think about ensuring how it won't happen again. In other words, the benefit of a geographical approach is that geography gives us this holistic approach to problems where the physical and human forces can be considered, examined and fully understood in order to address the problem in the future. Ultimately, geography aims to enable and encourage you to look at the world wearing different lenses. So because you will find a new appreciation for processes, but also it will help your thoughts, decisions and actions. And it constitutes an open field. So geography doesn't commit you to any specific future career while that all the while it opens up many possible exciting career paths to you. Understanding rural planning, ecosystem principles like coastal erosion and global population dynamics all play directly into current national and international directives and are highly relevant to multiple career opportunities. This is quite unique in that geography as a broad field incorporates multiple disciplines and sectors in the natural and social sciences, as well as the humanities. In terms of your decision to join us in September, 
A key question from prospective students is always whether you need to have studied geography prior to joining us. The answer is no. The reason that we don't require our incoming first years to have studied geography previously is that we aim to bring you up to speed in your first year with us. What we do require, however, is a curiosity about the world, an open mind about processes, categories, etc., a willingness to work, and an interest in learning new skills. We orientate your study towards field based research, laboratory work, and community engagement also. So, common tools for learning and teaching include paleo environmental analysis, satellite imagery, maps, archival sources, GIS, field survey equipment, all to name but a few. Here at NUIG, geography is truly an interdisciplinary approach, incorporating the natural sciences, the humanities, and social sciences. The subjects, concepts, and case studies that you will engage with and will reflect this interdisciplinary approach. Throughout your studies here at Geography, you will learn about and observe the many links between physical, the physical environment and people. Generally, you will engage with five central themes which are common to geographers. These are location, place, human environment interaction, movement and region. As part of your BA Joint Honours degree, you can opt to specialise in physical, human or environmental geographies, or indeed a mix and match of all of these three. Available modules in first year include human geography, physical geography and geography in practice. An important element of all of these three modules is field-based learning, so things like fieldwork and field trips. Moreover, many of us at the department are also contributing to projects within Galway and the surrounding areas. And this provides you with the opportunity to engage with and learn from the wider community. Then building on the first, year's op uh, first year options, there are a broad range of second, third, and final year options here at NUI Galway. And, these are tri and there are tried and tested subject combinations that work well with geography and that contribute to a really valuable degree. So for example, students have often combined geography with law and have, done, have gone on to be employed in the civil service. Geography students have paired with uh, archeology span routinely and they go into areas of heritage construction and maintenance. Geography students who have also studied languages as part of their BA often go into employment in the NGO sector after the degree. And geography is often studied alongside history, English, maths, or Irish in order to go into teaching. Finally, geography students are increasingly pairing with sociology and political science or economics to enter the planning sector. One other important element of first year geography is that our department was one of the first departments to provide what we refer to as the CAME support to our first year geography students. This means that in first year, you can meet weekly within small groups for informal assignment support and exam preparation. Uniquely, these informal learning sessions are run by our second and third year geography students. And these sessions are not only a great way to get support in your assignments, but they've also become a really great way for our students to meet each other and make friends in the first year. CAME is an important element of our first year learning experience here at Geography. It continues to provide our students with learning supports in a less formal environment. And we've seen that students improve their grades throughout their first year by virtue of their engagement with the programme. But it also provides that important space for students to forge friendships. Another important element of, to consider when choosing geography is that we aim to provide our students with flexible and transferable skills, skills that will enable you to adapt to changing social and economic conditions. So for the course of your time with us, you'll learn professional skills that will help you in your future career path. And these include um, project management and teamwork, for example, 
community engagement skills, critical thinking, computer skills, field work and lab experience, and also data analysis and data presentation. These are all skills that are transferable and highly desirable in today's employment sector. Within these skills and the knowledge and experience gained over your time with us, students routinely end up benefiting from a range of different employment opportunities. These include uh, employment in natural and cultural heritage planning, environmental and sustainability fields, the charity and NGO sector, uh, civil service, so things like teaching, uh, the law and financial services, marketing and advertising, but also town planning, um, we've had surveyors, uh, and also environmental management. So too do many of our students end up coming back to us through our one year taught master's program. So our geography graduates routinely return to extend their study of geography in either our um, MA in Environment Society and Development or our MSc in Coastal and Marine Environments or indeed our Rural Futures uh, MA. So there are many options to you should you choose to study geography at NUI Galway and we really look forward to seeing many of you in geography very soon. Thank you.